Right, I've had the joy and pleasure. Legends of speaking to some amazing people over these last couple of days. We've got a film director, plenty of pinball wizards. Everyone's loving the pinball. Uh, while I've been doing that, Bill Dog's created an amazing uh, tutorial for the community, uh, which is available on all launch box builds. And you can just free download, get it, and uh, yeah. just follow this. I think it's put together because there's not much out there on how to use it properly. And uh, so I'm just going to sit back here, watch this. Maybe I'll get a few more ideas of what to implement on the build. Uh, so I'll sit here, watch this with you, and enjoy. Hello, everyone. It's Bulldog here. I was going to show you guys how to use Borderless Gaming. But before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know on the part where you guys see two screens, that was just my NVIDIA recording the two resolutions, but my screen was actually running full screen in front of me. Uh, that's a bit of the beauty of borderless gaming. So check out the video. Hello everyone. This is Bulldog here. Just wanted to show you how to use borderless gaming. It's a program that it's in Launchbox. You probably ran into it. And let me show you how to use it, okay? So just open your file location. It's inside your Launchbox and it's called borderless gaming. You probably have seen it here before. Let me show you how to use it. Just go ahead and click in it. Click on the EXE. Go ahead and run it. You're going to want this running in the background for it to work. Okay. So just have it running in the background. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you how to use it on Haunted Museum. Okay. Just for an example. I'm also going to show you what my resolution is in here. The game's resolution is set to run on 1280 okay my tv or my screen is 4k so i'll give you a little example and you'll see what i'm talking about all right if i run this and i get a small window and i'm trying to blow up this window borderless gaming will blow it up no problem because it'll pop up here you see this it popped up here once i ran it i just had to have this running in the background once I so this is the place, played right? the EXE, That's right, Chris. it went ahead evidence concerning the missing person and appeared right here. I can click on it. Here. I can move it over to the other side to my favorites. All right. Well, and that'll blow it up full here? screen. No problem. You see no borders, no nothing. And your sending border will come up. Okay. Inside. Your sending border will come up and everything and it'll play. What they don't tell you, what other borderless gaming videos don't tell you, is okay, that this will work fine in. on any X input, other inputs, because it does the resolution wouldn't matter on those type I of inputs. Like this. But on this input, on light guns, raw input, what is the this? resolutions matter. The are so the fact that my screen is 4K, my, my aim is all off. The fact that the game is set for 1280, ah! but yet my screen is 4K, now my aim is all off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use borderless gaming for light guns. What nobody else tells you. So let me give you the example. So you've seen what happens when it blows up and the resolutions don't match, okay? So what do you do then after that? Well, let me show you. Every game is going to be different, guys, so I can't promise this on everything, but I can do two things with this game. I can either change the game's resolutions to mine, which is uh, 4K, 3840, or option number two is to change my display. Okay. I just put it on my 100% and I'm going to change and I'll change my display over to what the game resolution is, which is 1280, right? If I do that now, borderless gaming will actually work right. As you can see, it's already it already worked since I already applied it and it's already on that it already went full screen. It's already allowing me to put my send in border and. So this is the place, right? That's right, Chris. All... And you're Let's gonna notice something right now. Let me show you guys. 
and my aim dead on. See that? Okay, we're going in. It's no cross here. I know you guys can't see me pointing, so you gotta take my word for it. But I um, like this. aim is dead on. What is this? You. The mummies are moving. Eh? If my aim wasn't dead on, would I be able to shoot like this? See? Just wanted to give you guys an example, guys. This is how it would actually work. Here's the other example of another way this could work. Like I said, this was changing my TV screen to the game's resolution. All right. Now, the other way is to change the game's resolution to yours and then blow it up. And I'll give you guys the example right now, okay? Let me just go back to my resolution. In case you guys are wondering, I have hotkeys that just bring up my resolution and my scaling to whatever I want. So that's the beauty of how I have mine set up. But now let me show you the other option you can do. So we've seen that we can change our screen resolution to blow up and play as the game. So now let's do the game. If there's an option in the game, a lot of games have options where you can change resolutions. You can change the resolutions in here to yours. Let's just say I want to do 3840 to not have to change anything on mine to 2160 is my resolution so let's just say i change these so there you go guys i changed the game's resolution to match my monitor resolution and now let me show you how it works now all right now borderless gaming should blow it up since i changed the resolution i don't have to change resolution on my screen anything remember i haven't turned it off so i have borderless gaming still running here in the background you just can't see it but it's still running it still has museum on once you add it to your favorites they'll just stay here anytime you turn on borderless gaming they'll just be there if you turn on the game it'll just do what it does okay so let me show you guys now that i change resolution again see so now the window blew up in my regular 4k and it should go full screen it should let me pop up my border you should let me play. So this is the place, right? And let's check out the area. My aim should still be dead on. Okay, we're going in. Uh, I don't like this. What is this? The mummies are moving. Again, guys, aim dead on. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this wasn't too confusing, but I just wanted to show you guys how you really use, okay, borderless gaming with light guns. What other people really don't show you, okay? Just remember, you've seen it here on the Light Gun Legends build. Right, I have to say, yeah, I don't see that stuff anywhere else. Um, that's giving me some ideas. Yeah, I just set mine to 4, 8, uh, 4K, and I play that just like Bulldog. But now, thinking about that, this is, again, this is the reason why people want you to be stuck at a certain resolution, so it doesn't mess around with anything. Uh, but on that game specifically now, I'm going to mess around with their game configs, put them in location, set up some scripts. So with a click of a button, you can play a 4K if you've got a 4K TV and uh, then 1080 as well. Um, so you're not forced to have a resolution. You can right click and click on the resolution if you want. So you've got either way. Uh, but as always, uh, change the game resolution and keep everything as high as possible if you can. Uh, that game's not going to have any issue running on a mini PC or a not a powerful uh, PC at all. That's the great thing about arcade games. Uh, they never ran on a, uh, really strong PCs. I can remember playing Tomb Raider at the um, seaside as we have in the UK, and it went a bit it went a bit funky. Won't accept the coins and stuff. Uh, so I told the guy, and then he opened up and restarted it. And uh, 
no lies, it came with Windows XP. So, yeah, uh, they get them cheap, they get them out. So the arcade games always run. That's why I have no issues running a Techno Parrot. But there's me waffling again. Like I say, it's been great speaking to these other guys. And Bulldog, and the monster, the master that he is with these tutorials and information, he's put this out for you. So there you go. Uh, Boardless Gaming, get it used. Uh, like Gun Legends, uh, I will put that update out tonight with a few other games where you can right click and you could just go in and just uh, choose either the screen resolution or the game resolution uh, for the uh, haunted museum. All right, cheers, take care, have an amazing weekend. Bye now.